irrefutable proofs and evidence on why Islam is the true religion of God. Many reasons justify the belief that Islam is the religion of God and that the Holy Quran is the true word of God. If you are still unsure of it, you should investigate the evidence that points to Islam as the true faith and that the Holy Quran is the true speech of God. Let's quickly go over a few of these. Many proofs exist to support the fact that Islam is the true religion of God. Among the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness is the fact that it is the only religion whose message and teachings have been preserved and never tampered with or changed over time. As for Christianity and other religions, their original revelation and teachings have not been preserved for our perusal. If you look at Christianity, for instance, since Jesus Christ and his disciples spoke Aramaic, Jesus Christ's message and teachings must have been conveyed in that language. Today, we do not have copies of Jesus Christ's teachings available in the language he taught them. Amongst the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness is that Islam speaks to the predisposition and innate belief God has placed in the hearts of every human. Take the concept of God, for instance. The idea of God is simple, understandable, and not as complex as it is in other religions. Islam teaches the existence of only one supreme being, who is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-seeing, and most merciful, and who created the entire universe and everything in it. All other beings are creations of God and not the actual creator. If more than one god existed, there would befall a chaos of gods fighting each other for control. If the gods did not fight each other for power and control, then they would be considered dependent on and submissive to each other. In other words, not gods at all. Among the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness stands the idea that salvation makes common sense and applies true justice. Islam states that salvation is based on believing in your creator, intentions, actions, and repentance. No other religion supports the belief in rational and logical concepts like Islam's concept of God. Thus, the ideas of his prophets, salvation, and the hereafter appeal to everyone. Islam says that every man is responsible for his actions, sins, and salvation. No one will bear the effects of anyone else's sins, as Christianity believes, which is unjust. God, who owns everything, does not need to sacrifice his supposed son to forgive humanity's sins. Moreover, salvation is not based on one's native ethnicity and civilization, over which people have no control, as Jews believe. Where is the fairness, logic, and justice in that? Islam's concept of the hereafter makes total sense and applies full justice in its scope. Islam states that there is a life after this one where everyone will be judged based on how they lived. Everyone will get what they deserve on Judgment Day, be it a reward or a punishment. In this world, evil people may live decent lives and go unpunished for their wrongdoing, while sometimes good people who believe in God and do good deeds live difficult lives. On Judgment Day, justice will be applied. Among the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness is how its teachings guide you to achieving goodness. Other religions teach you to refrain from stealing and cheating, but their teachings are not practical. In contrast, Islam's teachings are very practical and provide solutions for all problems and aspects of life. Islam offers many resolutions, like the solution to poverty. The faith contains a system known as zakat, which requires everyone with more than a certain amount of money and assets to give the poor 2.5% of their wealth annually. If everyone followed this system worldwide, no one would die from hunger and poverty would perish. Among the proofs of Islam's truthfulness, the most prominent one is the miracle of the Holy Quran. Many reasons exist to justify the truth that the Holy Quran is the true speech of God. Before we review the evidence that points to the Holy Quran as the word of God, let's quickly look at the substance of the Holy Quran.